the Per Temps Handicap Hurdle Hurdle Qualifier Leg 4. His next three are one furlong not to one forty. The finals at Cheltenham in a couple of weeks. This is probably the last qualifier, I think. Casa Grande, Smiles of Eddie Gerard, Sudden Excuse, Darren Thompson, Barley Notes, James Shea, Tangled, Martin Lidham, Cottage Wine and Outer Limit for Craig Beckwith, Rapunzel, Martin Lidham, Demiris Giza, Graham Clutterbuck, Dark and Tribulation, James Shea, Agnetta's Eagle, Graham Clutterbuck, Glamist, Alex Cherry, Orange Cassidy, Matt Cooper and Bobbly Breeze, Alex Cherry, 13 runners in this then. I think the top six might go through to the final. They're away and racing. And Glamist on the outside of Rapunzel and Tangled are the three who are disputing the lead at the moment, although Barley Notes is up there as well. So too Bubbly Breeze and Orange Cassidy. They make their way to the first of the 13 flights of hurdles. And it looks like it could well be Glamist who's going to be the one to take them along. Over the first they go, and Glamis lands in the lead. From Tangled second, and Barley Notes third, Rapunzel fourth. Cottage one on the outside is fifth, down this near side, Casa Grande Smiles is sixth. And then Grey Demir is Giza. In towards the back, Orange Cassidy, and Dark Hand Tribulation of the back two. Early on, but a long way to go yet. And a three mile one furlong race, of course, this one. There's also a Pertemps hurdle later on in the week, which has got absolutely nothing to do with this. It's a two mile of that one, and there's nothing to do with the final at Cheltenham, in case anybody was wondering what that one is over a mile shorter. There's Glamist in the lead, and Tangled in the second, Barley Notes is third, and Outer Limit is fourth, Rapunzel is in fifth, then Sudden Excuses move through into sixth. The one really wide on the track there is Cottage Wine, as they get to the third. Skipped over that one nicely. Glamist well clear. I've tangled in second, Barley Notes in third. And Outer Limits fourth. On the outside, sudden excuse in the white sleeves with the maroon of Rapunzel. Uh, one's inside, then the two. Green jacketed horses are next on the inside. The two shades of green, Casa Grande Smile, the dark green of Barley Notes and Agnetta's Eagle. A Graham Clutterbuck. Here's the second horse, is the Grey de Mary's Geezer as they get over the fifth. And you've got the second horse of Craig Beckwith, Cottage White. And finally at the back, Bubbly Breeze for Alex Cherry, a stable companion of the leader, and Orange Cassidy for Matt Cooper. So two or three. Trainer's got a couple in this. And get to the sixth. Which they all get over nicely. And Glamis continuing to lead from outer limit second. And Barley Notes and Tangled past the winning post then. Just one more circuit to go. Turn left if you're racing. Turn right if you want to go to the Old Fortney Shop Hotel for a drink or a trip to the town centre or the castle. And it's Glamist in the lead from Outer Limit back in second. Barley Notes is third and then Dark Hand Tribulation fourth. And stable makes Rapunzel and Tangle together. And with a sudden excuse on their outside. And the Grey de Morris Giza with stable companion Agnetta's Eagle just on that one's inside. Cottage Wine and Casa Grande Smiles together and a gap of four lengths to the back two. Oh, bubbly Breeze and Orange Cassidy. Dark Hand Tribulation was the one who was down on his nose at that last flight and the dark green of oh, James Shea. But Glamis has been in the lead all the way and is bowling along three lengths clear of oh, Outer Limit in second, Barley Notes in third, Rapunzel fourth. Tangle has just dropped back a little bit and a couple of them quite wide on the track but there pretty nicely placed most of these I've not anything out of it yet even Bubbly Breeze at the back is plenty close enough to play a part in the finish with a mile to go and that's the 8th of the 13 Glamist in the lead Rapunzel now moved into second and Gnetta's Eagles moved through into third then Tangled Cottage Wine and then jumped that one nicely as well that was the ninth. There's four more to get over and Glamis has now been joined by Rapunzel. Glamis battling back on the inside 
wants to get back into it. Orange Cassidy is one who's made significant progress through into third. Tangled is fourth. Agnetis Eagle is fifth. As we get down towards the business end of the race and he's shaking up the reins on Glamisty. Look at this Orange Cassidy though. He's absolutely cruised into second there. And past Rapunzel, then Agnetta's Eagle, Tangles after that one, Cottage Wine and Sudden Excuse, and then after that, Damari's Giza. There's still plenty in with chances. Casa Grande Smalls has now dropped to the back. This is the fourth last, and Glamis landed in the lead from Orange Cassidy in second. Rapunzel third, Tangled is fourth. Then Damari's Giza, Agnetta's Eagle, Sudden Excuse is after that one. They've just got three to get over there now, and Orange Cassidy comes to challenge for the lead. He's Orange Cassidy on the outside of Glamis, who might just come out on this turn in front. Tangled is in third, then Damari's Giza and Sudden Excuse. Rapunzel's after that one. Then comes Agnetta's Eagle trying to run on with Dark and Tribulation and Cottage Wine. This is the third last and Glamist has regained the lead from in second place. Orange Cassidy Damaris Giza is next then Tangled and Agnetis Eagle. Rapunzel drops away. Agnetis Eagle's trying to run on so Damaris Giza. They're coming down to the second last and Glamist is still in the lead been in the lead all the way with just one to jump. It's Glamist in front for Alex Cherry from Orange Cassidy and Damaris Giza then sudden excuses after that one. Tangled's after that one Rapunzel's running on again. They're coming down towards this final flight now then and it's almost three in a line. Here comes Agnetta's Eagle on the outside. Agnetta's Eagle takes it up at the final flight. Agnetta's Eagle over it in the lead. Agnetta's Eagle's in front from Glamist and Damaris Giza. Rapunzel's running on well, but it's Agnetta's Eagle's in front and up towards the line. Agnetta's Eagle is going to take it from Rapunzel second. A fast finishing cottage one third than Damaris Giza. Glamist will hopefully have just qualified after that gallant run then. Maybe after that one was tangled, but it's a win for Graham Clutter, but not quite a 1-2. One, 1-4, one, I think he'll probably end up with, but he'll be happy enough with that. Agnetta's Eagle, the winner for Graham Clutter, but Rapunzel second for Marty Lidham. Cottage Wine third for Craig Beckwith. Damaris Giza for Graham Clutter was fourth. Glamist for Alex Cherry was fifth. And Orange Cassidy for Matt Cooper was sixth. I think sixth qualifier for this.